I am Ben Pearson, former Channel 5 Police Interceptor and retired cop from my Yorkshire. And I've been asked to do some reviews on Friends. Jennifer Aniston. Before we get into this video today, I'd like to shout out to our sponsors, Incogni. Every day, your personal information is being sold online without you even knowing about it. I've had loads of incidents where I filled an online form and then received countless spam emails, notifications saying I've had a data breach. There are thousands of data brokers accessing your personal information and selling it to unknown businesses to be used in any way they want to every single day. Well, people, I've got some good news for you now. You actually have the right to request that these data brokers remove and delete whatever information they have about you and protect your privacy. Sadly, if you were to try to remove all these yourself, it could take absolutely years. Our pals at Incognite will do all this for you automatically. They can reach out to these data brokers on your behalf and request any information they have about you is removed permanently and fight any objections for you. It is totally automated. All you have to do is create an account Grant them the permission and they will do all the work for you. Sit back, relax, knowing that your data is safe and they will even keep you updated every step of the way. I created an account and with minutes Incogni started reviewing 76 different data brokers who might have my information. The process was super easy and affordable and Incogni comes from our best mates over at Surfish Shark, which teach mammals how to access water on boards and do tricks. <laughs> So if this sounds like something you need, Incogni have generously let me have the first 100 people from yourselves give 20% off to using promo code Ben Pearson. So click on the link below and take back control of your personal data today. Thank you Incogni for helping keep us safe, the lights on and joshing a job. Take off. <laughs> Woo. Oh my God, this is a police badge. Oh, that's so cool. Why would a cop come in here though? They don't serve donuts. <laughs> <laughs> We don't always eat donuts, you know. It's a, it's a fallacy. It's more McDonald's, um, Schwammers, KFCs, and kebabs. Uh, but not a lot of donuts, to be honest with you. Yeah, we carry badges. Um, certain forces, I think, like Kent, actually have a badge stamp in there. We're short, she doesn't have a badge stamp. We just have a warrant card, so we do carry them. Um, so it is a bit like that, but we just don't have the big badge. It'd be hard to keep in your pocket. <laughs> Cigarette out on a tree? Yeah, I can. It worked real well. <laughs> oh, but you shouldn't. So don't ever do that again. I won't. Till I have my next cigarette. Hold it. NYPD freeze punk. What? <laughs> you are meant to, especially with these auditors. Um, you are meant to now get your warrant card out, identify yourself, tell them your colour number. I never told them my name because you don't need to know my name. That's why you get given a colour number so you can be identified through your colour number. So I don't know why they give the names. But yeah, you've got to produce your ID when you get stopped. And if you're not sure it's a real police officer, you can always phone it in and get the colour numbers and they'll ask the officer some questions there and then. So, But just don't do it if it is a proper copper because you've just been a bit of an ass. Unless you want to spend the night in the slammer, you apologise to the tree. I am not going to apologize to a tree. You apologize to the tree right now, or I am calling for backup. <laughs> backup! Backup! I'm, I'm sorry! Sorry! Okay, cancel backup! Cancel backup! <laughs> so this guy was all, no, you can't do this, and I'm on a buffet, homicide. <laughs> Cool. See, in States, it's a massive thing to be a part of, like, a detective or a homicide. I think it's what people strive for. Where more people, I think, in England speak, uh, want to be an op, special operations department. There's not a lot of people that fuck the badge out and say, CID, what's your please? CID. You just look a bit of a tool, really. So much fun doing good deeds. Yeah. Okay, but impersonating a police officer is a serious thing. You could get arrested. You could get arrested <laughs> right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, I better take it back. Totally drunk with power. <laughs> Is this your car? Yeah. Well, I don't think it's very nice of you to park here. You know, you're blocking the entrance. Don't worry about it. It's not a problem. Well, it's a problem for me, which means it's a problem for you, because I'm a cop. <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Shit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, OK. So you're a cop, which means you can park anywhere. Because I know that, because I'm a cop, too. 
Right, another thing, just because you're police doesn't mean you can park anywhere when you're on an emergency call. Yes, you can park anywhere. You can dump your car in the middle of the road, block traffic. You can do what you want when you're on a call. Uh, when you're not on a call, you've got to abide by road traffic law, highway code, and do everything that all members of the public are meant to do. Unless you're on a certain operation, such as very speeders, you're looking for a stolen vehicle, and again, you can park technically where you want as long as you're not causing a danger to anyone because you've got to do your job. So you, sometimes you just can't abide by road traffic law or highway code. Um, but you're doing it for greater good. Yeah, I'm, in fact, I'm undercover right now. I'm a whore. <laughs> <laughs> well, who else is in Vice up there? Um, do you know um, Sipowitz? <laughs> Sipowitz? No, I don't think so. Yeah, Sipowitz. Yeah, um, big guy, kind of bald. No, I don't know him. Hey, by the way, I'm sure Sipowitz is going to be all right. I heard that kid from Silver Spoons is really good. <laughs> Where'd you find my badge? Oh! <laughs> Back to your warrant cards. If you lose your warrant card or you have it stolen, you are up shit creek. Um, there should be never any reason why you lose your warrant card. The only reason you get a new warrant card is when your other one gets faded. Um, yeah, so you, it'd be up shit creek. Hey, hey, who wants pizza? Oh, I do, I do, I do. How are you oh, doing? Right. Can you believe it? I found it on the second floor. <laughs> <laughs> NYPD. Jennifer Aniston, oh she's stunning, God. isn't she? Uh, just a minute, officer! <laughs> <laughs> and you never knock on a door and say NYPD or West Yorkshire Police. You just, you just don't do it. Because if they've got somebody else, they're hiding it and getting rid of it. Okay, you can arrest me. Fine, but you'll never make it stick and you know it. Yeah, but I kind of don't have a choice. It's my job. I mean, you understand, right? Yeah, as long as you understand that I'm going to call my lawyer. And once he puts you on the stand, he's going to make you look like a fool. Like a fool! <laughs> I don't like looking fools. You know what? Maybe uh, I don't arrest you today. Maybe I came by and you weren't here. I would love it if I weren't here. <laughs> okay, so since um, you're not going to jail tonight, I was wondering if you would um, like to go to dinner with me. Oh. You know, imagine doing that. Someone finding your badge and your beautiful lady and you still opened up shit creek. They'd still prosecute you for that. <laughs> You're the prettiest fake undercover whore I've ever seen. <laughs> Such way with words. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'd like to go out with you, officer. Gary. Gary. Okay, so it's a date. Yeah. It's like Gary. You never hear anyone called Gary anymore, do you? I know Gary Barlow. Well, I don't know Gary Barlow. It's not like a, it's not like a stalk him. <laughs> Well, your fingerprints are all over my badge, so I just ran it through the computer, and this was listed as your last known address, so I just checked it out. Oh, impressive. Not as impressive as you. I got to tell you, I looked at your record and you've done some pretty weird stuff. Yeah, we'll talk at dinner. Okay. <laughs> so I'll come by in a couple hours and pick you up? All right, I can't wait. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm not going to just take you up for donuts. No! <laughs> <laughs> he has a gun. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't come by last night. I was out with Gary. He let me ride around with him in his cop car. We saw him prevented crimes. We do technically do ride-alongs, um, but they're only for certain people like MPs or um, inside auditors, you, people that do it properly, um, or for people doing it for um, civilian traffic and that sort of thing. So I don't think you can just apply to your local police force and demand to go out with traffic. There's too many regulations. and. If we're in a high speed pursuit and you lost your legs, you'd sue us. Well, it's kind of dangerous. Well, I like danger. <laughs> okay, you guys free tonight? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> tonight, you, you didn't say it was going to be at night time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Gary, you want me to grab the berry for you? It's called a cherry. Let's cut. <laughs> Chiller! <laughs> We don't have them all lights spreading at cars, so we don't have clip on red lights. Makes the best sandwich in the world. Can't eat that in my car. <laughs> yeah, okay. Even though my tax dollars paid for this car. Your tax dollars? <laughs> so when we were training and we had his VXRs, first rule at VXR where you don't eat in VXR. Christine never got it in, and then second rule: what you never, you never fart in the police car. If you've got a fart, you get out of the police car, fart, and then get back in. We don't want our seats stained with your stinky ass. What's so great about that sandwich? <laughs> okay, imagine the best sex you ever had. Okay. Are you thinking about Monica? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's that like? 
See if we could surprise him coming home. Su surprise him? We're not. We're not gonna make anybody mad, are we? Come on, man. Stop being a pussy. Hello, I'm in the front seat. Okay. <laughs> I'm Gary's partner. You know, when you say partner, it doesn't sound cop. But it sounds gay. I love having a partner. It was John or Baby Ben, and I miss you. I miss you, Ben. Hey, do you mind? We're undercover here. Oh yeah, no problem. <laughs> Ross. Sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it was like E.T. <laughs> hey, Gary, who am I? Fun ho. <laughs> but that reminds me, sign this. What is it? It's nothing. It just says you can't sue the city if you scrape <laughs> your knee or, you know, get your head blown off. <laughs> oh, hurry up. I want to sign that. <laughs> That's why you've got to sign a permission slip so you don't actually get injured and you can sue because when the people come out they're doing it for a reason that's what i mean members of public wouldn't sign it because chances are them getting hurt is really quite high so it's not it's not gonna happen switch places when they come out i'll go under and you go over yeah i'll get right on that <sighs> come on ross no extra rage yeah i'm sure we won't get arrested for this oh jennifer tell me you love me hi officer Hi. Is I going a little too fast? Just a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> can I see your license, please? Oh, yes, absolutely. You know, Give me a phone number you can go. But I had a dream last night that I was stopped by a policeman. <laughs> <laughs> and then he, uh, well, I probably shouldn't tell you the rest. <laughs> your license? Yes. <clears throat> Here you go, Officer uh, Hanson. <laughs> it's Hanson. We have had ladies that have asked us not to prosecute them and they said they would do things if we didn't prosecute them. That's a, a no, no. Yeah, you, you, no, no, no. However, if it was Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> this is a great picture. Oh, really, you think so? You know, I had just rolled right out of bed. <laughs> yeah, well, you look phenomenal. Well, she should. It was taken 10 years ago. <laughs> Um, really wondering about the old date. Yes, I am. You. You're an Aquarius, huh? I bet you're a Gemini. Nope. Taurus? No. Nope. Virgo? Nope. Sagittarius? Yep. I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. Yeah. You're not going to speak anymore, right? I won't speak. And you promise you'll get this taken care of right away? I promise. And in the meantime, you better let him drive. Does he have a license? Yeah. Can he handle the stick? Uh, well... I can handle this! <laughs> you know what? Remind me to introduce you to someone. Who? Fourth gear. <laughs> Things with Americans are not used to driving manual cars, are they? It's all just like um, automatic stuff. Good evening, officer. <laughs> Do you know how fast you were traveling back there? Uh, no, I don't, but it, it could not have been more than 60. You're right. It was 37. <laughs> uh, yes, you can be prosecuted for going too slow on a, a road, such as a, a national speed limit or um, a 50. If, you, if you're holding up too much traffic and people are getting annoyed, you can be prosecuted. So always drive at the speed limit where you can do as long as it's safe to do so. <laughs> Hello, officer. I, uh, I had the weirdest dream last night. <laughs> <laughs> you don't you don't want to hear uh, about my dream <laughs> officer pretty <laughs> it's petty <laughs> i'll be right back with your ticket you have a son i know <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. I haven't watched that for years. I usually just love Friends, but I, I love Jennifer Aniston more. I hope you enjoyed that and uh, click subscribe and follow us for more. See you later, kids.